Welcome to Hopkinton High School. It is time for Hopkinton Hillers Baseball, their first home game of the season as Hopkinton wel welcomes in the Ashland Clockers. Ashland 3-3 three and three on the season. Hopkinton 1-3, and three, but a long road for Hopkinton to get to their first home game as they had four straight games on the road, but now plenty of home games to come for the Hopkinton Hillers, but today should be a good battle with a talented young Ashland team as Evan Park out there getting ready to start for the Hillers. Let's take a look at the field behind them. Mike Messier will catch Alex Reynolds over at first base, Kyle Halloran at second, Jack Vicari at shortstop, Cal Holland over at third base from left to right, Greg Holler, Drew Donahue, and Drew Simi over in right field. For the Ashland Clockers, let's take a look at their batting order. They're going to lead it off with J.J. Krupe, the second baseman. Mitch Porter will bat second and play right field. Philip Cooper will bat third and play third base. Hitting cleanup playing right field, Joe Schelling. Ronan Bates batting fifth, the catcher. Shane Leary DHing and batting sixth. John Van Clef is batting seventh and playing short. Miles DeSoni is the pitcher batting eighth and batting ninth. Luke Gustafson playing first base and Nick Boselli the odd man out in center field today for the Ashland Clockers. As we are set for baseball from Hopkinton High School, Evan Park set to deliver to J.J. Krupe the first home game for the Hopkinton Hillers of the 2015 season is underway as the first pitch is just outside a 1-0 count. Park has had a couple starts so far this season, a 221 ERA for the righty as he delivers a strike. He's pitched 12 and two thirds innings, has given up 11 hits, 10 runs, four of them earned. Five walks and four strikeouts as that pitch down low. A two and one count. It is a cloudy day here today at Hopkinton High School as that pitch just up high. Cloudy with some mist in the air. A small chance for rain. Hopefully it'll hold off as Park delivers down low and Krupe draws the walk to start things off for Ashland. That'll bring up Mitch Porter to the plate. The temperature reads at 57 degrees today with a four mile an hour wind. 20% chance of precipitation. As the righty steps in and puts this one on the ground over to short, throw to second and it's dropped at second base and everybody's safe. So Porter reaches on the error, Krupe advances to second. Kyle Halloran was not able to hold on to the Jack Vicari throw. And Ashland has some momentum early on. That will bring up Philip Cooper to the plate, the third baseman. This Ashland team, a fairly young team. As Park set to deliver from the stretch. And this is hit into right field. That'll drop in for a hit. And it will roll around before someone was able to get to it. And that was out of play. Oh, two men on. And it was caught over in right field. As it was blowing around up there before Simi was able to get to it. And we do have an obstructed view of right field just to warn you. As Schelling awaits the pitch. And this is hit into right center. That'll drop in for a hit. And everybody is going to be safe. That'll load up the bases for Ashland with one out. So a single for Schelling. Advances Krupe to third, Porter to second. With one out. And that will bring up Ronan Bates, the catcher. A 
as Jay Golden goes to the bound to talk to Park, settle him down a little bit. Ronan Bates coming up to the plate now. He's a sophomore at a 200 mark on the season. Bases full of clockers as Park is set to deliver. Wind up and the pitch in there for a strike. An 0 and 1 count. From the stretch. And then that will grab the inner corner, 0 and 2 on Bates. Park to the set. Only six seniors on this Ashland roster. This is on the ground, up the middle, takes a couple hops on the infield grass. Fielded at second base, throw to first, they get him, but a run will score for the Clockers as Krupe comes around to make it one to nothing. And now Coach Golden going to come out and talk to the umpire. That will bring up Bates with two outs. Excuse me, uh, Shane Larry with two outs. Just low for a ball. Larry also a sophomore. Quite a few sophomores in this Ashland lineup. Park set to deliver. In there for a strike. Park to the set. And this takes a hop on the dirt in front of home plate. Throw to first. And it will be in time to end the inning, but not before the Ashland Clockers get one across. It's one and nothing heading to the bottom of the first. Set for the bottom of the first inning, a one to nothing Ashland lead as Miles Dasani gets set to pitch for Ashland. Let's take a look at the Ashland Diamond. Ronan Bates will catch Luke. Gustafson over at first base. J.J. Krupe, the second baseman. John Van Cleef, the shortstop. Philip Cooper at third base. From left to right, Mitch Porter, Nick Boselli, and Joe Schelling for the Ashland Diamond. As Kyle Halloran coming to the plate for Hopkinton. And he hits this foul towards the right side. 0 oh and 1. Kyle Halloran, the second baseman for the Hopkinton Hillers. In just a second, we'll take a look at the Hopkinton batting order. As Dasani delivers in there for a strike, 0 and 2. Kyle Halloran leading things off, the second baseman. Mike Messier batting second, the catcher. Jack Bakari third, the shortstop. Drew Simi batting cleanup and playing right field. Drew Donahue hitting fifth, playing center field. Cal Holland batting six, playing third base as that one's fouled away. Alex Reynolds playing first base, batting seventh. Evan Park, the pitcher, batting eighth. And Alex Cohen, the DH, batting ninth for the Hopkinton Hillers. As Dasani set to deal. And that is just low. Get you the stats for Dasani in just a moment as that is a swinging strike. And that is one out for the Hillers with catcher Mike Messier coming up. Dasani so far has made three appearances on the mound. He's a junior, 795 ERA, 
has given up 16 runs, 14 of them earned, walked eight and struck an out 13. At times, could be a little bit wild as that pitch outside. But certainly has some good speed on his fastball and some great movement on his breaking pitches as well. Wind up and the pitch. This is hit in the air towards left field and ranging under it is Porter and he will make the catch. Two away in the bottom half of the first for Jack Vacari. Sony set to deliver. Just high. 1 and 0. Sony to the set. That one's low. 2 and 0. Vicari awaits the pitch. That is fouled away behind the backstop, two and one. Sony to the set. Delivers. Grabs the inner corner for a strike. Vicari had a 500 mark on the season, six for 12. Has scored three runs and driven in five. Sony to the set. Hit in the air, foul territory, left side, ranging over is the third baseman, Cooper, and he will make the catch for the third out. The Hopkinton Hillers go down one, two, three on the bottom of the first. We head to the top of the second. Ashland on top of Hopkinton, one to nothing. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They're a multifaceted store to providing clients with an array of healthcare options. Hopkinton Drug is located at 52 Main Street. We are set for the top half of the second inning as John Van Cleef will come up for Ashland. He's off to a one to nothing lead to start things off. Off an RBI sacrifice fly from Ronan Bates that ended up scoring J.J. Krupe. Van Cleef is a senior at a 2-11 mark on this season. Has had 19 at bats and four hits. Has driven in two runs. And this game, it'll be a good look at the Ashland Legion team. The majority of the players on that squad will be from, of course, Ashland as well as Hopkinton. This park set to deliver. Wind up and the pitch. In there for a strike, 0 oh and 1. Park deals. That's down low, one and one. The Ashland Clockers led by head coach Matt Messer, who's an 05 graduate of my former high school, Milford High School, and assisted by coach Steven Manguso. As that's fouled away, coach Steven Manguso, a well-known for his years as a basketball coach at Milford High School, also coached the baseball team for a few years. And he's now the coaching over at Clark University in addition to Ashland as that pitch down low. A two and two count on Van Cleef. Park set to deal. On the ground, up the middle, played at short. The throw to first is in time. Nice job by Vicari, thrown across. And that will bring up the pitcher, Miles Dasani. Hey. 
Park set to deliver. Swinging strike. Good drop on that breaking pitch. Park to the set. That's fouled away behind home plate, 0 oh and 2. Park deals, fouled into the backstop. Park to the set. Inside, and that is strike three. Some good movement, and it grabs the inner part of the plate, two away. I'll bring up Luke Gustafson, the first baseman for Ashland. Wind up and the pitch down low. Gustafson, only a freshman for Ashland. 0.62 average so far. One for 16 at the plate. But a lot of young talent on this Ashland team that in the next few years will be up and coming as their strike one. They lost a good amount of their players last year. But at a three and three mark, not a bad start at all. On the ground, up the middle, played by Vakari. Throw to first, not a problem. And that is the third and final out of the top half of the second. We will head to the bottom of the second. It is a one to nothing lead for Ashland over Hopkinton. Set to enter the bottom half of the second inning, a one to nothing lead for Ashland over Hopkinton. Let's take a look at the season so far for the Hillers. In the first game of the season, it was a five to four loss to Medfield. That game went into the eighth inning, which of course in high school is extra innings. And that was over actually at Medway High School against Medfield where most of the TVL teams played their first game of the year due to field conditions. And then in Hopkinton's second game of the year, it was a nine to three loss against Medway on the 15th. And then on the 16th, eight to seven loss against Westwood. And then they got their first win on the road against Norton to come into this game at a one and three mark. In just a moment, we'll take a look at Ashland's season so far as Dasoni is set to deliver to Drew Simi. That is inside, one and zero. Oh. Ashland started off the season with a four nothing loss against Medway. They then beat Dover Sherborne eight to three back on the 13th, the wind up and the pitch. That's inside. Then it was a 10 nothing win on the 15th against Millis. They then lost to Medfield three to nothing in a good pitcher's duel. Then on the 24th, they played a Hockamock team, Foxborough, a 14 2 loss there. Wind up and the pitch in there for a strike. And then a 3 1 win against Bellingham at home back on the 25th. Of course, Bellingham, the last year's state champion baseball and softball team. Is that pitch down low? So despite the youth, of the Ashland Clockers. Some good wins early on this season. As Dasani delivers, swinging strike. Full count now on Simi. Sony to the set. And there, strike three gets Simi looking. That will bring up Drew Donahue, the center fielder today for Hopkinton. The wind up and the pitch to Donahue is inside and that hit him. Looks like got a piece of the right hand. So Donahue gets the free pass over to first. And 
Now coming up to the plate is Cal Holland, the third baseman. Calvin Holland, a returning hiller this year. Checking at first, sliding back safely is Donahue. Hopkinton Hillers baseball led by head coach Jay Golden. Hillers season ended last year in the sectionals with a loss as that pitch up high. From the stretch is Dasoni. Checking over at first, runner takes off, caught in a pickle throw to second, and he's safe. Donahue showing off the wheels with a stolen bag. And they played that steal well. It looked like they were going to have him caught in a pickle. But Donahue just kept on running with no hesitation. Good steal there. Wind up and the pitch. Hit in the air, deep in the air, towards center field and ranging back. And it's going to fall out of the glove of Boselli. Rounding third now is Donahue. He is going to come home. And Holland's going to slide into third. So a one to one game. And I do think you have to give. Boselli the error there. He had a play on it, got the glove right on it, and just could not hold on to it. And I'll confirm with Coach Golden to see if they uh, give him the error on that, but I'm going to score it for now as an error. For those of you just joining us, Tom Nappy on the call for Hopkinton Hillers Baseball, Bob Hamilton on camera. One to one game in the bottom of the second, the windup and the pitch, swinging strike. 0 oh and 1 on Alex Reynolds, the first baseman. Cal Holland hit that very deep to center field, and it goes pretty far back towards that right center area. The lineup and the pitch, swinging strike. And there's a good amount of field out there to work with, but you have to cover a wide range out there in center field. So Boselli just had trouble getting to it. Sony to the set, swinging strike, two away. Second strikeout of the inning for Dasani, third of the game. That'll bring up Evan Park. But since that fly ball was in the glove of Boselli and he dropped it, you got to think that would be an error. On the ground, up the middle, that'll get through for a hit, and another Hiller's run will score. It's a two to one game off an Evan Park single. Cal Holland coming around, and that will bring up Alex Cohen. So Alex Cohan steps to the plate. Checking at first, Park slides back. Hiller's not afraid to be aggressive on the base paths. And Park does have good speed, so you certainly have to watch him. Checking at first, slides back safe. And if you're looking at him leading, he's kind of leading with that right leg pushing down on it as if he's going to take off, so can certainly Mess with a pitcher's mind a little bit. Wind up and the pitch. Inside for a ball. One and O oh on Cohan. Stasoni takes time, steps off the mound. From the stretch. Checking at first, Park slides back safe.
from the stretch. He delivers inside and high, two and O. Oh. Bassani will throw from the stretch once again. Bassoni delivers down low. Park leading off of first. Inside, and they're going to call it a strike. Three and one. Some good movement on that breaking ball. The wind up and the pitch. Upstairs, and Cohan will draw the walk. It'll move Park to second. It's two men on with two outs for Kyle Halloran, who struck out his last time up in the first inning. The Sony delivers down low. Nearly got away from Bates, but a good cover up. And now Coach Messer going to come out and have some words with DeSoni, try to settle him down a little bit. Seems like he got a little wild after the RBI single by Park. Lefty is set to deliver. Wind up and the pitch. Hit in the air towards right field and it will drop into the glove of Joe Schelling for the third out of the inning. But not before two Hopkinton Hillers run score and they take a two to one lead as we head to the top half of the third. Top half of the third inning, a two to one lead for the Hopkinton Hillers. Due up is the top of the Ashland Clockers order. JJ Krupe, Mitch Porter, and Philip Cooper will come to the plate. As Evan Park set for another inning of work at a one, two, three second inning. In the first inning, a run did score off a sacrifice fly by Ronan Bates. And Krupe steps in. The wind up and the pitch. Down low, one and oh to the lefty. Park set to deal. Down low, two and O. Oh. Wind up and the pitch. Down low, three and O. Oh. Evan Park, the ace starter for the Hopkinton Hillers this season. And Greg Holler has emerged as the second starter. Is that pitch down low? Four straight balls to Krupe. That is the second time he's walked Krupe. Walked him in the first inning as well. That'll bring up Mitch Porter. And now coming out from behind the plate, Mike Messier to give some words of encouragement to his battery mate, Evan Park. Park set to deliver to Porter. Wind up and the pitch is upstairs. A one and O oh count. Park to the set, inside. 
Six straight balls thrown out by Evan Park. Now Cal Holland going to come to the mound, give some words of encouragement to Park. Runner leading off of first, Park from the stretch. In there for a strike. Fastball grabs the inner corner. Park again from the stretch, awaits the sign. Check in at first, and sliding back safely is Krupe. Bunt attempt pulled back. And it's a 2-1 count. Park delivers. There's a strike. Three and two, says the scoreboard, as Park set to deliver. That's down low, and that will be the second straight walk. Philip Cooper now coming up with two men on and no outs. Park takes a look at second and delivers. This is hit in the air and foul. Fouled behind home plate, 0 oh and 1. We'll see how much of a trend it is with Park struggling with the top of this Ashland batting order. Struggled with it a bit in the first inning. Wind up and the pitch. Down low, and that gets by Messier, and both runners are going to advance. So a pass ball allows both runners to advance. Now two runners in scoring position with no outs. A one and one count. Park delivers, down low. Two and one on Cooper. On the ground, up the middle, off the glove of Park, and he is going to bobble it and have no play all the runners are going to be safe. What happened was J.J. Krupe over at third stayed on the bag. Mitch Porter started heading to third and then had to turn back to second. And then Cooper reaches. So you can credit Cooper with a single there and now shelling the cleanup hitter at the plate. He hit a single his last time up. And there's a strike. So Park held up to try to avoid the run, but I think you gotta throw to first there and at least get the one out. Park delivers inside, one and one. having a little bit of control issues in this inning. That's down low. A two and one count. Park deals, swinging strike. Two and two. Well, 
Line up and the pitch. There's strike three. Nice response by Park. That'll bring up Ronan Bates, who had the RBI sacrifice fly in the first inning to give Ashland their only run. Still bases loaded with one out as that pitch upstairs. One and O. Oh. To the set. That is fouled away. One and one count on the sophomore. Park steps off the mound. Park deals on the ground, third base side, and it's bobbled over at the bag, picked up, throw to first, not in time. Or is it? And it looks like they did get him at first. So they will give him the out at first, but a run does score as Krupe comes in. So a five to three sacrifice ground out for Ronan Bates and he does it again, his second RBI of the game. And that was very close there over at first base as Shane Leary steps in, inside. So a two to two score now. Ashland with runners on second and third with two outs. Park delivers. That's down low, gets by the catcher and a run is going to come across for Ashland. Another pass ball as Porter comes around. A three to two game now in favor of Ashland. That looks like got a good piece of Messier's glove, just cannot hold on to it. And Coach Golden comes out and gives Messier some words of encouragement. Park set to deal, swinging strike. Nice pitch by Park. Park to deliver. Swinging strike. Two and two. And there's another swinging strike. So Evan Park may get, maybe getting some of that command back in his fastball as he gets Leary on three straight pitches. And that will retire the inning, but not before Ashland plates two more runs and retakes the lead. They lead Hopkinton heading to the bottom of the third, three to two. Bottom half of the third inning, due up for Hopkinton, Mike Messier, Jack Vicari, Drew Simi. A three to two lead for Ashland after the clockers plate two runs in the top half of the third. As Dasani is set to deliver. There's a strike. An 0 and one count on Messier who flew out his last time up. Sony delivers upstairs. A one and one count. That's in there for a strike. Good movement on that pitch. Dasani is going to throw just outside there. That'll 
Make it two and two. The line up and the pitch. Down low. Dassany to the set. Fouled away into the backstop. Count remains full. Dassany delivers down low, and Messier draws the walk. That'll bring up Jack Vicari to the plate. Vicari, 6 for 12 at the plate, heading into this game for the junior. Line up and the pitch, swinging strike. It's Vicari's second year with the Varsity squad. Missoni checking at first, back to the bag safely is Messier. Sony shakes off the sign and now is set to deliver. Upstairs inside for a ball. That almost got a piece of Vakari. Dasoni to the set. That's fouled behind home plate. One and two. From the stretch. Wind up and the pitch upstairs. Two and two count. That's Sony, the wind up and the pitch. Hit in the air, foul territory, right side, and it is going to be out of play. No one able to get to it. Gustafson was trying to track it down, but could not get there in time. Count remains two and two. Runner leading off the bag at first. As Dassoni set to deliver. It's good movement on that breaking ball, but it's outside. That'll fill up the count. Had a nice curve to it. Wind up and the check in at first, and back to the bag safely is Messier. Still no outs in the inning. Dasoni has thrown a lot of pitches so far in this inning, despite there only being two batters. That is strike three. Vicari thought he had the walk, but instead has the strikeout. And there's one away that'll bring up Drew Simi. Simi struck out his last time up in the second inning. Currently in the bottom of the third, a 3-2 lead for Ashland. 
Runner on first with one out for the Hillers as this is hit in the air and in foul territory. No one's going to get to it. But a good catch. Uh, and actually someone did get to it. It looked like it was going to be in the dugout area, but Gustafson ranged over and made the catch. Had to have a bit of a dive for that one. And that is the second out of the inning. I did not think anyone was going to get to that one. A nice job by Gustafson. Runner takes off from first, pitch up high, throw down a second, will get over the head of the second baseman, rolls into right field, and the runner is going to take off for third, and he will safely slide into third. So Messier with the stolen bag, and then advances the third on the error. Nice job by the speedy Messier getting into scoring position. As Donahue awaits the pitch. Swinging strike. One and one. Dasoni set to deliver. Just outside. Donahue was hit by a pitch his last time up. Did score a run. Scored the first run of the game on the RBI single by Park. Swinging strike. Dasoni shakes off the sign. And deals. There's another strike and almost got by the catcher, but he's able to pick it up, flip to first for the third out of the inning. We will head to the top of the fourth. Ashland leading Hopkinton three to two. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit them at WebsterFirst.com. We are ready for the top half of the fourth inning, a 3-2 to lead for Ashland. Is Evan Park out there for another inning of work? Due up for the clockers is John Van Cleef, Miles DeSoni, the pitcher, and Luke Gustafson, the first baseman. And Gustafson had a nice catch in the bottom half of the third in foul territory, ranged over to catch a Drew Simi foul ball and came to a dive near the Ashland dugout area. It surprised everyone when he came up with that catch. That was the second out of the inning. And then to complete the inning, Donahue struck out. So now Van Cleef set for the pitch and he takes strike one. Park set to deliver. That's down low. You're watching Hopkinton Hillers baseball on HCAM. Bob Hamilton on camera, Tom Nappy on the call as Park delivers down low into the dirt. Nice save by Messier. Park with the windup and the pitch. Down low. A three and one count on Van Cleve. Park to the set, this is hit in the air towards right field, and that's foul. A full count now. Park 
Clark set to deliver. Swinging strike. That is Park's fourth strikeout of the game. That'll bring up Miles to Sony, the pitcher. Sony had a 294 mark on the season at the plate as that pitch inside. Is five for 17, has scored three runs, driven in six. Pretty good with the bat as well as on the mound as there's a swinging strike. One and one. Park with the leg lift and the pitch. In there for a strike. Nice little drop on that breaking pitch. Park delivers on the ground, rolling on the infield grass, picked up by the third baseman, throw across, and it will not be in time. And excuse me, that was uh, Holland who threw it across. And it looked like he was going to get him, but Dasani beats it out. Some good wheels there by the pitcher, and that is a single. Now Luke Gustafson will come up to the plate. He grounded out his last time up. That was a good throw too across the diamond. Is that pitch down low? Park set to deliver. Down low. Two and oh. Park to the set, hit in the air, foul. Two and one. That's down low. Three and one. There's a strike. Fastball on the inner corner. Park set to deliver. Check in at first, runner back safe. Park has a great check in move too, gets the ball there pretty fast. Park to the set. That is just low, and Gustafson will draw the walk. So two on with one out for J.J. Krupe. And now Coach Golden and catcher Mike Messi are going to the mound to talk to Park, who's been a little bit wild so far today. Krupe has walked twice so far and scored two runs. And he has given Park some good battles as the lefty is set for the pitch. Park delivers in there for a strike. And perhaps it could be the fact that Krupe is a lefty, which is maybe getting to Park a little bit. Runners leading off the bags, the windup and the pitch, and this is on the ground, rolls on the infield grass, picked up by the second baseman, flipped to second for one, throw to first, and they get the double play. A nice job by the Hillers defense coming up big, a 
4-6-3 double play to retire the top half of the fourth. And we will head to the bottom of the fourth. It's a 3-2 Ashland lead over Hopkinton. Bottom of the fourth inning, due up for the Hillers, Cal Holland, who's stepping to the plate now. Alex Reynolds, the first baseman, and pitcher Evan Park. As Miles DeSoni out there for another inning of work for the Ashland Clockers, has pitched a pretty good game so far. A 3-2 to two Ashland lead as Holland steps in. That pitch down low, 1-0. Sony to the set. Hit in the air towards left field. This one was crushed. And back towards the fence. That ball's gone. A home run for Calvin Holland. Absolutely crushed that pitch. A three to three game. It is pretty deep out there. They don't have the measurements up. So I don't know the exact distance, but he got a great piece of that pitch. That'll bring up Alex Reynolds, the first baseman. So that's uh, quite a way to get an inning started. As Dasoni set to deliver. In there for a strike. Oh, and one. And that is in there for strike two. The wind up and the pitch. That's up high. That was Calvin Holland's first home run of the season. And actually that's the Hopkinton Hillers first home run of the season. Down low, two and two. The rain's starting to pick up a little bit. A few drops falling. Wind up and the pitch. That's down low, good eye by Reynolds. Full count. Dasoni delivers in there for strike three. That'll bring up Evan Park. And we are crossing our fingers the skies don't open up as a few drops of rain are starting to fall. Swinging strike. Dasoni to the set. There's another swinging strike, 0 and 2. Dasoni set to deal. Swinging strike, and that is the second straight strikeout for Miles Dasoni. And now. Alex Cohan will come up to the plate. The DH walked his last time up. Two outs in the bottom of the fourth, but it is a tie tie. It is a three to three game, excuse me. Which, yes, would be a tie game as the Sony delivers strike one.
Calvin Holland tied it up at the top of the inning with a home run, an absolute bomb towards the left field fence as that pitch is just outside, one and one. And this is a liner in a center. That'll get down for a base hit. And that is a single for Cohan. Good piece of that ball, and that'll bring up Kyle Halloran. Halloran 0 for 2 so far today. Dasoni from the stretch. Delivers. Down low for ball one. Checking at first, runner back safe. Dasoni from the stretch awaits the sign. Upstairs, two and oh. The Sony gets the sign. And deals. Liner over to the second baseman. Throw to second for one. And that is all they need. A four to six ground out to wrap up the bottom half of the fourth, but not before. Calvin Holland tattoos a ball past the left field fence to make it a three to three game as we head to the top half of the fifth. Top half of the fifth inning, a three to three game due up for Ashland, Mitch Porter, Philip Cooper, and Joe Schelling. As Park out there for another inning of work. And that is inside, turns the hitter away. Actually grabbed the uh, inner part of the plate there as ruled by the umpire and 0-1 count to Porter. That pitch is just low, one and one. Park shakes off the sign and delivers down low. Two and one on Porter. The wind up and the pitch, swinging strike. Park awaits the sign and delivers. In there for strike three. Looks like Park has been picking up a little bit of momentum as the game proceeds. Now Philip Cooper steps in. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Park deals low. One and one to Cooper. Cooper had a 263 mark heading into the season, uh, heading into this game, excuse me, for the junior. That pitch in there for a strike. Five RBIs, two runs scored for Cooper. And to have a team as young as this Ashland team is, but still have this amount of talent as that pitch is down low. But to be as young as this Ashland team and have this amount of talent, that means really good, 
that's a really good sign that in the next couple years, they will be at the top of the TVL standings. And there's strike three. Second straight strikeout for Evan Park. Same thing with the Hillers too. The Hillers a young team this year. Only two returning starters. And they have a lot of talent on this Hiller squad as well. I think Hopkinton and Ashland are going to be two elite teams in the TVL for the next couple of years, as they typically are anyway. The wind up and the pitch to Schelling on the ground up the middle, fielded at short, throw to first, not a problem. A 1-2-3 inning for the Hopkinton Hillers, and we will head to the bottom of the fifth. It is a 3-3 three three ball game here at Hopkinton High School. Bottom of the fifth inning, Mike Messier stepping in. It's a three to three game. Ashland went one, two, three on the top half of the fifth as Dassoni delivers down low. Messier, Vicari, and Simi. The core of, or part of the core of Hopkinton's order do up. The second, third, and fourth hitters. Line up and the pitch, and this is hit into left field. That'll drop in for a base hit as Porter will field it and hold up Messier at first. And Mike Messier on board to start off the bottom half of the fifth. That was actually Messier's first hit of the season. One for 11 at the plate total. Jack Vicari steps in. He was at a 500 mark heading into today's game. Six for 12. So far today, 0 for 2. Tassoni awaits the sign. Checking at first. Messier back safely standing. Wind up and the pitch, down low. Good save by Bates behind the plate, almost got by him. Dassoni from the stretch. Delivers, that's fouled away. One and one. Dassoni to the set, checking at first, runner back safely. From the stretch. Checking at first. Messier back to the bag safely, leading off a little bit between pitches. Tassoni trying to keep him at bay, he knows the amount of speed in this Hiller's batting order and how they like to steal bags. And that is a swinging strike, one and two. Dassoni awaits the sign, working from the stretch. One man on for the Hillers, no outs. Bottom of the fifth, a 3-3 game. Breaking pitch that did not sink quite as low as he would have liked. Ball two. A two and two count. Check in at first, runners taking off and the throw over to second will be in time. Messier caught stealing. Not really like that steal attempt. You get a man to on to start off the inning. It's a 3-3 game. I don't see why you risk it in that situation, especially when DeSoni was extra cautious. 
checking the runner at first a number of times. Wind up and the pitch, a swinging strike, and that is out number two. Drew Simi will come to the plate. Simi 0 for 2 so far today. 462 heading into today's game. 2 for 11 at the plate. That is a ball, 1 and 0. Oh. Dassoni gets the sign and deals. There's a strike. Dassoni to the set inside. Two and one on Simi. That pitch down low. A three and one count. Dassoni deals and this is a liner in a center field. That'll drop in for a base hit. A runner on with two outs for Drew Donahue. Dassoni working from the stretch. Checking at first, runner back. Wind up and the pitch in there for a strike. Oh and one. Dessoni awaits the sign. Checking at first, runner back safe. Hillers have two stolen bases in this game and Messier was caught stealing earlier this inning. Wind up and the pitch is down low. One and one count. Shakes off the sign and now set to deliver. That's in there for a strike. Grabs the inner part of the plate. One and two. Passoni deals. And that is a breaking pitch that would not break for ball two. Sony shakes off the sign. He delivers on the ground, third base side, fielded by the third baseman, throw to second, and they get the final out of the inning on the force out. And we will head to the top half of the sixth inning. It is a 3-3 three to -three tie between Ashland and Hopkinton. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Fletcher Tilton, Attorneys at Law, serving Central Massachusetts and beyond with responsive solutions. Guided by three basic principles, integrity, leadership, and excellence, Fletcher Tilton. Visit them online at FletcherTilton.com. We are set for the top half of the sixth inning, a 3-3 three three tie. Evan Park out there for another inning of work. 
Two up for Ashland to start things off. The catcher, Ronan Bates. Shane Leary, the DH, will bat second. And John Van Cleft, the shortstop, is due up third. As Park looks to battle through another inning. Took Ashland down one, two, three in the fifth with a couple strikeouts to start off the inning. And hoping for a similar result here. The lineup and the pitch upstairs. One and O. Oh. It will be interesting to see if Ashland brings out Dessoni next inning. They do have bullpen action. They got Philip Cooper warming up as that's a strike. Cooper at third base right now. So he could end up pitching next inning. That pitch down low. Two and one. We'll have to watch the pitch count on Park as well. He's thrown a few today. He's had a few battles he's had a fight through. And a stoppage. As I think something got on to the field. Park delivers. On the ground, third base side, and foul. Two and two. Park to the set. This is a little bloop shot. We'll take a couple rolls on the infield grass. Throw to first is over the head of the first baseman, Alex Reynolds. So Bates reaches safely. Now Shane Leary will come up. Certainly not a routine grounder there. Took those couple hops and made it a difficult play for Vakari. And now Shane Leary will come up with a man on first and no outs. We're going to have a pinch runner for Ashland. Coming into the game to run is Christian Van Cleef. Checking at first, Van Cleef slides back. And don't be surprised if Ashland tries to manufacture a run here, get something going. Wind up and the pitch, the bunt. Slow roller down the first base line and foul. Shane Leary will come back to the plate. The wind's starting to pick up a little bit here at Hopkinton High School. Park to the set, working from the stretch. Delivers. Bunt pulled back, checking at first, and they almost got him. Good throw down the line by Messier. A one and one count. Larry awaits the pitch. And there's strike two, checking at first. Runner slides back. Another good throw down the line by the catcher, Mike Messier. Park awaits the sign. And time called. Larry back in the box. Wind up and the pitch. In there for strike three. Gets Larry looking one away. I'll bring up John Van Cleef. The shortstop. Park gets the sign and delivers inside.
Line up and the pitch. Inside, runner takes off from first, throw down a second and they get him. Good throw from behind the plate by Messier as Bates is caught stealing. Count is one and one. That is a good defensive play. Swinging strike. Park set to deliver the one and two. And there's strike three. And that will be the third out of the inning. Two more strikeouts for Evan Park in the sixth as he is just starting to rack them up. Seven strikeouts in the game. We'll head to the bottom of the sixth. It is a three to three ball game between Ashland and Hopkinton. The wind is blowing as we enter the bottom half of the sixth inning. A three to three game. Two up for Hopkinton, Cal Holland, Alex Reynolds, and Evan Park to face Miles Dessone, who's out there for another inning of work. The lineup and the pitch is down low to start things off, one and zero. Oh. Cal Holland hit a solo home run in the fourth inning to tie the game back up. Crushed it over the left field fence. Also scored a run in the second as he reached on a fielder's choice. Is that pitch up high? One and one. Actually, excuse me, reached on an error in the second. Dassoni deals. And he's trying to check his swing, could not hold up, one and two. As the rain starts to fall a little bit again. Sony delivers down low. Holland awaits the pitch. Line up and the pitch. And that is down low, and Holland draws the walk. Now Alex Reynolds will come to the plate. He struck out twice. But there is a runner aboard with no outs for the Hillers to start things off. As the rain starts to get a little heavier now. The Sony set to deliver to Reynolds. And that is in the dirt, gets by the catcher. Runner takes off and will head to second. So Holland advances on the wild pitch. And the rain's starting to become a little more consistent. And Coach Messer going to call time for Ashland. Perhaps we could have a pitching change here. The Sony has done a nice job today, but he's thrown quite a few pitches. He's had a battle his way through a number of hitters. And we'll see if Coach Messer takes the ball or leaves him out there. He's going to leave him out there. See if he can get through the next hitter, Alex Reynolds. So now Reynolds set to step in. A 1 and 0 count. Checking at second, and the throw gets into center field, but the runner will stay put. That is a good thing Nick Boselli was playing deep, or that could have been an easy trip to third for Cal Holland. Dessoni. 
We'll throw down a second and some infielder movement as the shortstop Van Cleef and second baseman Krupe doing some shuffling out there trying to catch Cal Holland off guard. Trying to pick him off the bag. He's taking a big lead out there at that second base bag. And the bunt attempt pulled back and the catcher could not find it for a moment. But Bates is able to pick it up and heading back to second is Cal Holland. And you can expect a lot of attempts on the base pass trying to get this run across as both pitchers have been pretty good today. So these teams, they're gonna try to manufacture whatever they can as that pitch down low. And Coach Golden, he doesn't hold anything back on the base paths. He loves to send runners. Dasoni deals. Bunt pulled back, there's a strike. Three and one on Reynolds. And the checking at second and the ball almost got by, but it actually looks like it went off of Cal Holland who slides back to the bag safely. was raining a bit earlier in the inning, but has since slowed down. Just a few drizzles here and there throughout this game. A bunt attempt pulled back, and that is a strike. And now it looks like Coach Golden will be giving him the sign to swing away. Runner leading off of second. Bessoni steps off the mound for time. Reynolds awaits the pitch. A full count. No outs, runner on second. The lineup and the pitch fouled into the backstop. Count remains full. Good paddle here between Reynolds and Bessoni. For those of you just joining us, you're watching Hopkinton Hillers baseball on HCAM. Bob Hamilton on camera, Tom Nappy on the call. You're on a cloudy afternoon, but this has been a great game so far. Three to three in the sixth. The windup and the pitch. That is inside and Reynolds draws the walk. Two on, and now Coach Messer is going to come out, and I think we will have a pitching change. And we indeed will. So Miles DeSoni going to come out of the game, but he did pitch a good game. And we're going to have some shifting around here for Ashland as the new pitcher will be Philip Cooper, who was at third base before. We'll take a quick timeout and then get you up to date on all the Defensive switches for the Ashland Clockers. Bottom of the six, it's a 3-3 game. New pitcher in the game for the Ashland Clockers. Philip Cooper slides over from third base to take over on the mound for Miles DeSone. And now playing third base is Justin Burns for the Ashland Clockers as Evan Park steps in. Park set to face the new pitcher who will work from the stretch. Two men on for the Hillers, no outs. Park is squaring away for a bunt, pulls back, ball one. The infielder is playing in on the corners. Miles DeSoni went five plus innings, gave up five hits, three runs, two of them were earned, four walks, and had eight strikeouts. Cooper set to deal. Infielder's coming in as he pulls back the bunt, two and zero. Oh. Right 
Park hit, was hitting a 400 coming into this game and will bunt it down the first baseline. That is in fair play. Throw to first is in time, but Park did exactly what he wanted to do. Move both runners into scoring position as Cal Holland advances to third and Alex Reynolds to second on the sacrifice bunt by Park. And now stepping in is Alex Cohan. The lineup and the pitch in there for a strike. Good movement on that breaking pitch. Line up and the pitch. Another breaking ball attempt, this time a little bit outside. And it is Nate Wilson who is over at the second base bag as a pinch runner for Alex Reynolds. So Nate Wilson on second, Cal Holland on third is that pitch up high. Two and one. Cohan awaits the pitch as Cooper working from the stretch. That is hit foul, two and two. Killers with a big opportunity here. One out, runners on second and third. Big chance to break this tie. And head into the top of the seventh with the game in your favor. Cooper deals, that is down low, a good save behind the plate by Bates. Coming into a dive and taking the ball off the chest pad to stop it from going by. Cohan awaits the pitch from the stretch is Cooper. Line up and the pitch, swinging strike. A nice job by Cooper. Has two away for Kyle Halloran. And Philippe Cooper with a chance to get out of this inning unharmed. Halloran 0 for 3 so far today. Line up and the pitch. Outside for ball one, one and oh. Cooper shakes off the side and delivers. And this is hit first base side, will be fielded at the first base bag and diving to the bag in time is Gustafson and actually he he might have dropped the ball. Ashlyn, they think the inning's over. Hopkinton thinks he dropped the ball. This is going to be interesting. And the umpires are talking this out. I think they ruled initially he, he was out. And they are going to stick with that call. So that was the third out of the inning, a three unassisted ground out, no run score. And we will head to the top half, uh, the bottom half of the sixth inning. It is a three to three tie. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state of the art senior housing and health care services. Visit them online at goldenpondassistedliving.com. We are set to enter the top half of the seventh inning. And it is still a three to three ball game as Hopkinton threatened on the bottom of the six, but a nice job by relief pitcher, Philippe Cooper and the Ashland Clockers defense for getting out of the jam. There was two on with no one out. And then a sacrifice bunt by Evan Park moved everybody up and then a strikeout to Cohan and then a three unassisted ground out by Halloran ended the inning the lineup and the pitch is in there for a strike to the new hitter for Ashland as DeSoni was due up but he's out of the game and there's another strike 
And at the plate right now, it is Justin Burns. He took over at third base. Ashland does lose their designated here as this pitch was in the dirt, picked up by the catcher, throw to first, and it will be in time. So they get the strikeout on Burns. That will bring up Luke Gustafson. Gustafson is 0 for 1 with a walk. Line up and the pitch. You can see his uniform all dirty from sliding to the bag in the bottom of the sixth to get Halloran for the final out of the inning. And there was some debate at the end of the play if Gustafson held on to the ball as that pitch down low. But it was ruled he did hold on to it. Park set to deliver. Wind up and the pitch in there for a ball just inside. Park set to deal, awaits the sign. And there's a strike. And you had to figure a matchup between Ashland and Hopkinton was going to be a good one. There's strike three. Gets Gustafson looking, the second straight strikeout for Park, and he is on. As now J.J. Krupe will come to the plate. Six strikeouts in the last three innings for Park. 10 overall in this game. Line up and the pitch just outside. And there has been no warm up action for the Hillers so they are going to stick with Park as long as possible. Swinging strike. Park had his struggles early on in this game, but has since just blazing through it. This is on the ground, up the middle, played, at, bobbled at short, throw to first, not in time. No, it is in time, excuse me. I did not think that was going to get there in time, but it did indeed get across. A nice recovery by Vicari, and we will head to the bottom of the seventh, a three to three game. The Hillers, they can clinch it right here if they can get a run across, but they will have their work cut out for them as Philippe Cooper will come out for another inning of work for the Ashland Clockers. The Hopkinton Hillers coming up next. We are ready for the bottom half of the seventh inning. Due up for the Hopkinton Hillers, Mike Messier, Jack Bakari, and Drew Simi, a three to three game. Philippe Cooper out there for another inning of work for the Ashland Clockers. And Cooper has thrown six innings so far this year, has given up no runs on six hits leading into this game. And the first pitch of the inning plunks Messier in the back, and he gets the free pass to first, taking one for the team, and the lead man is on. Jack Vicari will come up to the plate. Messier is some speed on the base paths. Expect him to lead off the bag. And who knows, with Coach Golden, may, he might even try to steal. As the Hillers bench, trying to cheer their teammates on. Wind up in the pitch, it's a bunt attempt and foul. Vakari so far 0 for 3, has struck out twice and flew out in the first. Time called. We have the first baseman uh, tying up his cleat. Cooper from the stretch. Runner leading off the bag. Delivers, bunt pulled back. And Bates with a nice job there. Getting to that pitch that was a little outside the zone. One and one. 
Line up and the pitch. Bunt pulled back up high, two and one. And Bates is going to look down that first baseline after every pitch to make sure that Messier is staying put. And this is a bunt, slow roller on the infield grass, throw to first in time, but he pushed the runner up, which is what he was hoping to do. So Messier moves up to second on the sacrifice ground out, and that'll bring up Drew Simi. Simi is one for three, had a single in the fifth. Wind up and the pitch. As outside, gets by the catcher, Bates, and the runner takes off and gets into third. And then it's thrown into the outfield, and the run will score. And the Hopkinton Hillers walk off with the 4 to 3 victory. Mike Messier. So a pass ball allows Messier to advance to third, and then a wild throw which ends up in foul territory in the left field area, allows the Hopkinton Hillers to walk away with the four to three victory. As Messier plates the run, utilizing his speed on the base pass, quite a way to walk off with a victory for the Hopkinton Hillers, but they get the job done here today and improve to two and three on the season. We'll wrap this game up coming up next on HCAM. After a wild game at Hopkinton High School, the Hillers take down the Ashland Clockers 4-3 to three with a walk-off run in the bottom of the seventh. Let's recap this game. In the first inning, Ashland got things started off as a sacrifice fly from Ronan Bates. Scored J.J. Krupe to make it a one to nothing game, but the Hillers would respond at, in the bottom of the second as Drew Donahue and Cal Holland would score a couple runs for the Hillers. Evan Park with the two RBI single. And then an, no more runs would score until the top of the third, where Ashland would respond right back, putting up two runs of their own. A sacrifice fly by Ronan Bates allowed Ashland to take the 3-2 to two lead. And then... The Hillers responded on the bottom of the fourth. Cal Holland to lead off the inning. A solo home run would tie the game back up, and then no more runs would score until the seventh inning. Mike Messier was hit by a pitch to start things off, and then he would end up stealing second and then advancing to third on a passed ball. And as he advanced to third, the throw down the line got into left field, and Messier scored the game-winning run for the Hopkinton Hillers. The winning pitcher today was Evan Park, who pitched a complete game, gave up four hits, three runs, three walks, and had 10 strikeouts. A tremendous start for Evan Park. The losing pitcher, Miles DeSoni, he did pitch a great game, though. Pitched five-plus innings, giving up five hits, three runs, two of them earned four walks, eight strikeouts. Philippe Cooper came in in relief, pitched the final inning plus, uh, gave up that last run, but it was unearned, and also two walks and a strikeout. A great battle between Ashland and Hopkinton today, but in the end, the Hopkinton Hillers come away with the 4-3 to three victory and improve to 2-3 and three on the season. Ashland falls to 3-4. and four. We thank you for watching this broadcast of Hopkinton Hillers Baseball on HCAM. For Bob Hamilton on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.